Why is art important? Why does art matter? What can art make you feel? Is there a deeper meaning to some paint put on a canvas? Or is it truly in the eye of the beholder to see the beauty? These are but a few questions any one person could ask themselves when viewing art. However, today we are going to look at a very interesting painting to see why it matters to us. Peter Sanradam was born in 1597 in the Netherlands. After his father died, his mother and himself moved to Harlem, where Peter apprenticed under Franz de Greber for 11 years. While regularly traveling through to different places through his lifetime, Peter remained to call Harlem home. It is because of him that Dutch art would hold a new genre of church interiors, which is what brings us to our painting today. In the 1600s, Protestant churches in Holland, like this one, were relatively unadorned. This austerity was a reflection of the teachings of John Calvin, the Protestant theologian. Peter Jan Sangerdam specialized in paintings of church interiors like St. Bava, the church depicted here. It's located in the Dutch town of Harlem. Walter Liedke is curator of European paintings at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The whole church creates a very Protestant impression. Most of the decorations of the church have been cleaned out. The entire church has been whitewashed to create a very spare impression. The degree of daylight that penetrates this interior is far beyond in the painting what you see on almost any day in Harlem. And there's probably a religious notion in that, that uh, the light represents the heavens. So he's very deliberately manipulating the proportions of the architecture and emphasizing the lines to make this rather realistic image at the same time into something which is very graceful as decoration. St. Babo still dominates the horizon in Harlem and remains one of the country's greatest churches. Our painting has traveled to many places throughout its time since creation. The interior of St. Babo started its timeline with the Schloss family. In 1911, Adolf Schloss died and thus left our painting to his wife, Lucy. During Lucy's lifetime, the painting remained within her family, traveling from place to place within her own home and that of her children. Four children Lucy had, Juliet would be the child that acquired the painting after her mother's death. The painting would then leave the Schloss family for quite some time. During the time Juliet had the painting, it would be looted by the Vichy government of France in 1943. It would also be in this same year that while it was in possession of the Vichy government of France that the painting would find a short home in Chambon, France and then Paris, France. It was also in 1943 that our painting would find its way to the French State Museum at the Meuse de Louvre. The interior of St. Bava would stay at the Louvre until 1946 when it would be restituted at last to the Schloss family. It would then be in 1951 that the Schloss family would sell the interior of St. Bava to the D.A. Hoogendijk Gallery in Amsterdam, Netherlands. The painting would stay in the Hoogendijk Gallery until 1953 when our painting would find its home to be with J.C.H. Heldring in the Oosenburg, Netherlands. Edward Steelman, who would hold on to it for eight years before selling it to Harold Samuel, who would keep the painting until 1985, where then Harold would sell the painting back to Mr. Steelman. After Steelman had gotten the painting back, it would then be sold to the J. Paul Getty Museum in 1985, where our painting would finally find a stable place to call home. The interior of St. Bavo, Harlem, 1628 by Peter Saradam should be respected and valued because it gives any individual the ability to look back at the past and have the opportunity to view what life could have been like during the time the painting was created. Also, this painting is important because it gives the opportunity to open someone's mind to the history of art, along with the opportunity to open an individual's mind to the possibilities of history in general, meaning that while a person is viewing the painting of the church interior, that the person's brain could be feverishly active with the question that comes to when you first view a piece of art. A few of those questions being, why would the artist make this? What made the artist want to paint this specific piece during this specific time of day? Or even, how did the artist paint this during his time? Did he have the church closed while he painted? Or did he let people flow freely around him while he created this piece of art? Any and every painting can bring many questions to one's mind. But what matters is that art makes a person feel. Art makes a person want to know more. Art drives a person's need to know more about the world. These points alone are why art and this painting in specific are to be so important in our lives. It also makes people care. 
Because of the way someone created art can tell us about our past as humans. The question, why does art matter, is a hard question to answer nonetheless. Not because it is a difficult question, but mainly because there is so much that could possibly go into this answer that it makes it hard to pick the top answers to satisfy such a question.